But you can give us just a general statement about your defense. Obviously, it continues to impress. Yes, our defense is, uh, we're playing well. We're playing well. Um, there's some things that we need to clean up. But we make, uh, we make plays. We're taking the ball away from people, which is a plus. Uh, I think one thing that, um, as a staff, that we uh, emphasize is uh, third down conversions. And um, we're right at about 28% third down conversions and the norm, the average is about 34%. So when you're under that, then you're playing pretty good sound defense. Uh, say a little something about the play of uh, Ambry Jr. and, and Steve Oak. Well, Ambry is, is playing extremely well. Um, he's the Mike linebacker. He's the, the signal caller, the leader of the defense. Uh, Aaron is, is really playing hard. He's he's focusing on what he's supposed to do, the task at hand, and leading the the core group uh, as he's supposed to. Um, Aaron had a, a very good game on Saturday. Um, you know, he's just continuing to get better. He said some things that he still needs to do to clean up, but all in all, I'm pleased with his leadership and his play thus far. Uh, Steve O's a guy that, a uh, young man that, you know, he's a very athletic young man. Uh, a lot of people underestimate him sometimes because of his size, but he's, he's very explosive, he's quick. Uh, he makes plays. That's the thing about him, he makes plays. He's a, a playmaker. Just tell me what's your overall thoughts of, of the uh, Alcorn State uh, offense, considering they put up so many points. Oh, it's a very good offense. Um, I think what a lot of people don't understand is that the quarterback, uh, Gibbs, he's, this is his third year in that system. So he's the field general. And uh, they've been there for three years, and, and those guys have gone through their bumps and bruises and lumps, and now you're starting to see uh, those guys gel together and really um, and make things happen. They have a good running back, a couple good running backs. Um, they have a good, uh, couple good wide receivers, and uh, they do a great job in terms of uh, scheme. Coach Simmons, the offensive coordinator, he does a really good job of putting those guys in position to make plays. With the fact that they've been turning the ball over uh, pretty good, uh, does it make you excited to see the opportunities that could happen for the defense and help out the offense with with the being able to capitalize on some of the mistakes that they make? Well, like I tell uh, my players, it's not a weakness if you can't expose it. So our thing is we got to make sure that we're in the right position to do what we need to do, and, and we, we, um, we do tackling and turnover every day. So the emphasis won't change. You know, we'll, we'll still do the same things that we do every day, and, and when the opportunity presents itself, we got to take advantage of it. Last couple of weeks, y'all done a good job of forcing turnovers and then get the kickoff return. Is that kind of a sign of a good team coming together when you can't find other ways to put points on the board or put the offense in good positions to score points? Yeah, I think it is. I think that uh, when you can uh, find other ways to score than the offense, it's always a good sign. The thing that we do as a staff, I think we do a really good job of emphasizing special teams play. And uh, we've been close all year. And, you know, we've been uh, continuing to grind and to emphasize the importance of doing the little things. And, um, you know, it paid off big on Saturday. Uh, we had a huge punt return early in the game, and then we turned around, and when uh, Alabama a and kind of closed the distance a little bit, uh, the momentum, and the thing that we always emphasize is this, when a team scores, they have the momentum. So then when you execute in the return game, you seize the momentum, and then you – you uh, hurt the psyche of that team. And sometimes, and a lot of times, just as in the case of Saturday, uh, when uh, Martez returned that 92-yard that kickoff return, it took some air out of him, and we were pleased um, to see the execution of our special teams. Do you think that was a turning, turning point? I think it was. I think it was, yes. Just tell us what you think uh, Jonathan Williams brings to the table as a quarterback that, that can also run the ball. Uh, well, you know, Jonathan's very athletic, and obviously – uh, he's done a good job, you know, as far as running the offense, uh, getting the ball in the right people's hands, getting it to the right places and things of that sort, making the right checks. And, you know, kid's always been uh, on top of everything, and his opportunity, uh, you know, came to him, and he, he uh, performed well. And uh, we're excited about him, and he's excited about being out on the field. Coach, with a, a, a nice array of talent in the backfield, how difficult is it to come up with one or two players to be able to get in the rotation and get in the groove to uh, the game. I promise you, you know, you never have enough of those guys. You know, 
simply the way things happen, you know, injury and things of that sort. And uh, we have, uh, you know, several guys that could start the ball game at any point in time. And uh, here lately, you know, uh, Juan Martin has really uh, taken off and uh, really excelled. But at any point in time, you know, any one of our guys could be very productive, you know, running football. And I'm very confident with those guys because they work extremely hard in practice every day. Good to, good to see Juwan out there. I remember last year he had some fumbling issues, kind of fell behind the depth chart for him to kind of bounce back this year. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, we, you know, we work on turnovers. We work on, you know, hanging on to the ball and squeeze the ball and all those different types of terminologies and things of that sort. But, you know, it just boils down to going and practice and not making it and emphasizing it so much because if you do, you continue to put it on their mind. Just let them play football, hang on to the ball, and uh, advance it down the field. And, and they've done a good job of that, you know, at this point, to this point so far. How important has the uh, fullback been in, in the offense this year? Well, uh, he's been important, but really, you know, in our offense, you know, fullback has a place, but not very much. You know, uh, we're pretty much a spread one-back football team. and uh, But there is a place for him, and he's done a good job in times that we've called on him. Coach, talk to me about the excitement, like uh, Roger just said about being home this weekend. ULM's uh, out of town, yeah. Tech's off, LSU's not anywhere around, so really you guys are literally the well, I'll tell you what, town. So I'll tell you what, Gene, being at home after six weeks on the road is, is outstanding. It's great, you know. Uh, you know, what they always say, you sleeping in your own bed feels a whole lot better than a hotel bed, you know. So I know the kids are excited about being at home and uh, our fans coming out and supporting us. Uh, Supporting the team, and uh, we're, we're we're excited about it. As Coach Bob just before, but do you think the team has rallied around Jonathan? You know, kind of coming off the bench and leading the past two victories. Well, I think uh, you know he's he's uh, he's a guy that's uh, real close to the offensive line, and uh, and they're really excited about the way the ball is being moved up and down the field. And I, I think you're right; they are excited about his versatility, his ability to throw the football, and enable for his feet to, to work as well. So they're pretty, uh, they're pretty excited about him being there.